Welcome back, everyone. Well, if the current pandemic has caused you to become stressed or impacted your mental health, there are ways to minimize that stress and take control. Joining me now is Professor of Nursing at Colorado Tech University, Dr. Katina Kennedy, to discuss further. Good morning to you, doctor. Good morning. I'm glad to be here with you all. Well, we're very happy to have you because COVID-19 has created a lot of stress in a lot of people. How can we reduce that stress? There are a few things we can do. Number one, it's important to understand and know your health status. So first things first, go get your blood work. Know what, what I call the big three, BCB, your blood okay. pressure, cholesterol and blood sugar. It's important to know your health status. You have to know what's going on on the inside of your health and on the inside of your body. Also, when you go for that blood work, it's important to check your thyroid level because abnormal thyroid hormone can increase anxiety and stress. And also you need to know your cortisol levels. That's your stress hormone. When those are elevated, that can definitely cause us not to be able to manage stress. Mm -hmm. Everything you just listed is very, very important. I think I think we all need to know where we are on a health level. Now, I know part of your approach to stress reduction strategy is also physical and lifestyle based. What kinds of things can people do? Yes, it's important to, you know, as far as the lifestyle changes, exercise, get out, be active. Uh, if you're scared to still go out, it's OK. You can be active right in your home. There are a lot of virtual uh, ver exercise classes that you can partake in. Also, you want to exercise at least 30 minutes a day. Okay. And uh, yeah, 30 minutes a day. You want to also get your water intake. That's important as well. That's important to staying hydrated and it's good for your skin and your intestinal system and it helps build the immune system as well. Hydration is key. You want to drink about half your body weight in ounces of water a day. You got it. So I want you to calculate how many pounds you are and divide that by two. Oh. And also, it's important to get adequate sleep. Now, the research shows you should get at least six to eight hours of sleep per day. So you have to think to yourself, are you getting six to eight hours? If not, it's important that you really make that lifestyle change. Lack of sleep can cause stress not exercising, mm -hmm. um, being mentally not stable can increase stress, increase anxiety, and other things can happen as well if your stress is not managed. I think you hit a, a lot of key points here. If you are not hydrated, you're not sleeping well, that's certainly going to play into your daily energy, your daily activity level. Now, I understand diet is a part of this as well. Can you explain that? Yes, um, diet is key. You know, we are what we eat. You all have heard that before. So it's important that you stay away from a lot of foods that drains our energy. And remember, we have to eat to refuel and not get full. So always remember that, eat to refuel and not get full. So herbal teas are amazing at help managing stress. Your, your peppermint teas, your chamomile teas, your hibiscus teas, those all help. Also, your berries, you know, your, your berries, they're really good at anti antioxidants and they help uh -huh. increase the immune system. Your citrus, citrus fruits, such as your oranges, your lemons, your grapefruits, those are amazing at well, as well. And also, remember, you have to have a colorful plate. Greens are important. Make sure you get your broccoli on board, your kale, all of that helps as well. And your nuts, you can't forget about your almonds, your pistachios, and your flax seeds are great as well. So those are just some foods that will help manage stress. Also, whole grain food foods. So when you're going out and you're looking for uh, some whole wheat, don't look for whole wheat. You need to look for whole grain bread okay. or home grain pasta. All of that helps as well. Well, I think that is all great advice. And just remember to keep it colorful when it comes to eating healthy. Thank you so much, doctor, for being with us this morning. Great advice this morning. And for more information, go online, drkatrinakennedy.com for more.
uh, Dr. Katina Kennedy, that is, I'm so sorry. And now it's time for another set of clues in today's... Thanks, Claudia. Okay, take a look at that, you guys. Do you recognize this place? Today's call-out was named after the road.